All right, we are live. Say hello in the chat. In this live stream, I just want to share with you an insight that uh, I came across yesterday during one of my one-on-one -on -one calls regarding the wealth transfer, regarding the switch to a new digital financial system. I want to talk to you about uh, the parable of the sower in relation to the wealth transfer. Just those two things, a nice little spontaneous live stream. Say hello in the chat. Let me know you can hear me all right. Don't be too silent. Hello, Psalms. Nice to see you. You seem to always make the live streams. <laughs> Of course, we're going to give people time to get in. Uh, hello, Richard. Blessings to you, too. Thanks, Psalms. I appreciate that. Hello, Joseph. The Lighthouse Chronicles. I have not seen you. Before. I don't recognize that name, but hello. Hello, Anointed Flowers. Uh, should, should be talking to you a couple of times next week. Hello, Jamal. Not much going on over here. What's going on with y'all? What's uh, What are your thoughts on the transfer? You know, I did a, a little check-in in the member section a couple of days ago, but uh, feel free to let me know what the Holy Spirit has been saying to you, what observations you've been making. Hello, Cheryl. Hopefully all is well with you and your family. Hiltonian, blessings to you as well. One day, uh, look at that. I remember how to pronounce it. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, hello. Kama, long time no speak, kind of, you know, but reading about San Francisco and that whole thing. So I think we're closer to me sharing that revelation, um, but, but we'll see. Hello, Yvonne, Treda, hello. Eric, I sent your crypto tutorial video to a friend. He appreciates it so much. I appreciate that, and I'm, I'm glad it's helpful. I've, I've received a lot of good comments about that teaching, so I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out, you know. Hello, Andrew. We're close. Keep declaring and decreeing. Amen. Okay, we're up to 32. Oh, wow. Okay, it just jumped from 32 to 47. All right, maybe I'll give it another minute to see, you know, see what the number settles at, and then and then we'll begin but thank you all for being here. As I said in the beginning, you know, I just want to share an insight with you all that came up yesterday during one of my one-on-one -on -one calls. Um, and I want to talk to you about the parable of the sower in relation to the wealth transfer. I assume you can hear me all right. I assume the audio is fine, but let me know if there are any issues. Like, I don't want I don't want to know that you can just hear me, but I want the audio to sound good. <laughs> Hello, Texas to Georgia. Okay, thanks, Richard. All right. It's looking like the numbers settling about here. All right, so let's begin. So yesterday I was in a one-on-one -on -one call with a brother in the community, and we began speaking about the timeline of the crash, not, not a flash crash, but like economic crash and the devaluation of the dollar and the flip of the switch, so to speak, to the new digital financial system, right? So these are things that have all been prophesied. An economic crash or collapse, so to speak, has been prophesied. The devaluation of the dollar has been prophesied, even by people who aren't wealth transfer people. Um, and, you know, as we know, 
as Sharon has has shared in one of her dreams. Uh, and as we can see, you can really see there's there's knowledge out there um, that's not hidden that there the system is in place <laughs> to go to the digital financial system. Uh, actually, I should share something with you all that I came across the other day. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find it. The, the framework for the digital financial system is in place. At the very least, it is continuously being developed. Okay. Now, I want to show you this this tracker I came across. Let me share my screen. Okay, so this is a central bank digital currency tracker, okay, worldwide, all right? So this is showing you can see the, the legend over here. So three countries have launched their CBDCs, meaning like it's out there, it's, it's going, right? 36 are in pilot program, 30 are being developed, 44 are in the research stage, okay? So there's 17 inactive and two canceled, meaning out of the 134 countries, only 19 of them are not in some way, shape, or form, actively engaged in developing a central bank digital currency. All right. So let's see. So the three countries that have launched it, we got the Bahamas, Jamaica, and Nigeria. All right. And so the pilot countries are here. The US is in development stage. You know, basically all of North America is in the development stage. And then all the other major countries that I see on my channel, such as Australia, uh, the UK, are in the pilot program stage. All right. So it's here. It's here. Okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, so the economic collapse, the devaluation of the dollar, and the flip of the switch to the new digital financial system. What is the sequence of events and when is it happening? You know, some people in the, in the community have said the end of the year. That's not what I'm here to talk about as far as when it will happen. But the question that came up in, in the call was, what is the reasoning going to be that the government gives to the people for our need to switch to a digital financial system, to a digital currency? Because you have to understand, many people are not going to like that idea. I mean, you already see that now. Uh, it's only a minority of us who are invested in cryptocurrency. So the government is going to have to give a reasoning, you know, more than likely, it's not going to be full truth, but they're going to have to give a reasoning, and obviously not just the U.S., but all governments, for why we're going to switch to this digital financial system. And as me and the brother uh, began talking about this, uh, I received some, some insight that I believe is, is from the Holy Spirit. Right now, if you know anything... You know, you know the term uh, predictive programming, right? You know the, this practice of the powers that be putting their plans out in the open before they actually do it, right? There's a term for it that I just came across the other day, karmic retribution. Essentially, it's a way to say, hey, we told you we were doing this. You just didn't want to listen. You just didn't want to look deeply into it and do your due diligence. So it, it's not going to come back on us negatively because we told you and you accepted it, right? Now we know that the, the jab, so to speak, right, the injection, uh, 
uh, once again, if you know anything, <laughs> if you have discernment, uh, you know, you know, and you knew that that wasn't the mark, right? The mark of the beast. You knew it was a precursor. You knew it was a trial run. It was a test to see, okay, how open are the people to something like this? And I believe when we're talking about the wealth transfer and the switch to a digital financial system and what the government will tell the people to get them to accept it. Y'all remember all those stimulus checks we were getting in the U.S.? I think that was a trial run. I think that was a conditioning. That was a test. Um, and I think the government, among other things they may say, it's going to be like, oh, in addition to whatever we tell you is the reason we need to switch to the uh, digital system, here's a free 10,000 CBDC federal government coins for you, right? $10,000 worth or whatever the number is. Who knows what the number will be? But it will be something, it will be a number that will make the masses uh, drop their worries about a digital currency, you know? So what are your thoughts about that? That's what I believe will happen. Among, among other things, they're going to give logical or seemingly logical, reasonable reasons for it. But then they're going to throw that free money at people and, and people will lose all rational thought. Let me read the chat. Uvo said, I need to join a session with you. Yes, sir. I mean, if you, you know, look in the description, uh, look at my link tree link and you'll be able to find it there. I saw the USDC on Robinhood today at $0. It was just a flat line, no movement. I don't know if it's been there and I never noticed, or maybe I'm totally wrong. Hmm, I haven't seen that. You use Robinhood? Why do you use Robinhood? I don't suggest Robinhood, but you can tell me why you use Robinhood. Hello, Melanie Marshall. Hiltonian, like the most high, devil gotta prophesy. It's called Softening the Target. Yes. Hello, Kerry King from Georgia. They did that with the jab, offered people money to take it. Um, I, I don't think they offered people money. Uh, they did offer things like free pizza and like weird stuff like that. I know even me in the military, they said I was in Korea at the time, right? And so when you're in a foreign country, there can be restrictions to where, hey, you're not allowed to go off base. You've got to stay on base. And I know for us, they were like, hey, if you get the injection, you can go off base. You can go explore Korea. You know, that's the kind of thing they'll do. But what I was saying, Psalms, is there were stimulus checks in the U.S., you know, to stimulate the economy after COVID, uh, like free money. <laughs> There's just free money given out. Um, so that's that's what I'm saying. That that method, that technique uh, will be implemented for the switch to the digital uh, financial system. Marcus, which exchange do you suggest? Uh, for In the U.S., you know, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen, uh, Coinbase and Kraken. And as I said on my video, uh, the, the class that I uploaded, you know, the reasons are uh, they have wallet features to where you can send your crypto and they don't place a restriction on your sell limit orders, your limit orders, period. Uh, my neighbor got 100 Walmart cards to take the, wow. Yeah, they, they were giving, they weren't giving literal dollars, but they were giving things worth dollars, you know. Yeah. Well, I guess nobody has any thoughts on what I shared <laughs> or, or any thoughts affirming or maybe a different thought of, of what might happen. Uh, maybe you're just listening and taking it in and I'll, I'll accept that. Your thoughts are valid. Free money is definitely a distraction. Now, we, we understand, right, because I'm, I'm speaking of this in like a negative sense, right? It's, it's only a negative sense for those people because they're blindly going to be accepting this currency 
and this system that is going to control them even further. We, on the other hand, who are ahead of it all, our, our situation will be different, right? So it's not, it's not a negative thing for us. Um, in my state, there were some companies were doing that, actually giving actual money. Wow. Misty says, I can only say I was led by Holy Spirit because I was never into this crypto thing. But about two years ago, I was led to Robin Hood prophetically, like the name. But anyway, I was led to Sheep. Had no idea about it. Yeah, I started on Robin Hood. I started on Robin Hood, but eventually sent all of my stuff off of there just because they restrict your limit orders. I think you can only place them at 10 times the current price. So 10 times higher or 10 times lower the current price which for what we're trying to do prophetically and, and the price points, it that doesn't work. I came late, so I missed the first eight minutes. Uh, you didn't miss too much. I think we started like four minutes into it. Hiltonian, I think you're right on. Amen. I'm not one to follow what people are saying, but I take the prophetic as confirmation for sure. Just listening. Cool, cool, cool. I heard self-custody wallets are going to be banned in Europe. <laughs> they, they might try to, <laughs> you know. Uh, so we got to stay in tune with what the Lord is doing, how he's leading. Maybe even pray against something like that. Uh, I have a, a connection, someone I've spoken to a couple of times who may be aware of the potential of restrictions like that being placed in the US, not necessarily on wallets, but like restrictions on who's allowed to stake their crypto in the future, who's allowed to participate in AMMs. Um, and so we just gotta stay aware of these things and stay ahead of it and try to position ourselves. I can't speak too much on it because I'm not fully uh, educated on it yet. Um, but once I am, I'll, you know, I'll do what I can. Most don't have faith to believe that crypto is a way to invest in the future. They're stuck in the past. Yeah, I'm going to get into that when I when I talk about the parable of the sower. That's what I need to learn. Robin Hood, most shadiest exchange. CBDCs or XRP, what do you mean? Y'all give give a little more context with your comments because, you know, at the same time I'm speaking, there's a delay and I may not get to your comment till a few minutes later. And I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, but I can I can riff off of that CBDCs or XRP. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I believe is going to be in the future. Two camps. You either forced to take the CBDC or you have some freedom because you invested in something like XRP ahead of time. I feel sorry for the elderly. This will be so hard for them to learn this new way of currency. My call yesterday was with a 67 year old man and he's up on it. He, he, he's up on it. He, he knows what he's doing. But that's not to say you're incorrect. Um, and maybe, you know, if you know an elder, elder, elderly person, you can help them. I got my mother invested in crypto in less than an hour. She's 60. What's Trump impact on this? I can't say for sure, but what I think might happen, assuming Trump gets elected, one thing I feel now, aside from Trump, one thing I have felt is tax, tax laws will change in the country in a positive sense. And I feel like if Trump gets elected, he could have a hand to play in that. I think that that's something that he would be for. Uh, so obviously that would include crypto tax. That is a very valid like, point because after the stimuli, stimulus, you still ended up paying the money back. Mm. How would I switch? You have to send. So I assume you have a wallet on, on Robinhood. So when I was on Robinhood, when I first got on Robinhood, there weren't wallets on robin Hood. there wasn't a wallet function you had to sign up eventually they rolled it out you had to sign up on a waiting list so i assume it's available to everyone now and so you just send your crypto to a different exchange so 
every wallet has an address, right? So you would set up an account on a new exchange, Coinbase, for example, get your wallet address for the cryptocurrency you're sending, Shiba Inu. So you go to Shiba Inu on your Coinbase account, click receive, and it will show you the wallet address. You copy that wallet address, go to Robinhood, go to your Shiba Inu, click send. It'll bring up a screen for you to paste the Coinbase uh, address, and then you send it, and it'll go to Coinbase. My dad is 79, and he will only use cash. He doesn't even have a debit card. If that happens, he will have a hard time with it. Hey, tell him to put some of that cash into precious metals, then. Uh, Trump said as president he would not allow CBDC. Hmm, that's interesting. I haven't heard that. Uh, I'm not sure how true that is. Or, or if he can prevent that, I'll put it that way. <laughs> but that's interesting. My father's also up on it. They came to your class. Okay, good to see you. <laughs> I'm up on it. God put it on my heart to learn this starting last May. My parents are mid-60s. Yeah, so, so there's hope for the elderly. There's hope. I think the government intends to use XRP for their CBDC, but I feel like it will not go the way they desire. They desire to have ultimate control of everyone's finances, but it will backfire on them. That, that could be a temporary outcome, but we know at the end of the day, the mark of the beast will be a thing. You will not be able to buy or sell without that. So at the end of the day, eventually it will be fully controlled like that. Hiltonian, I don't know what that means. I'm not even going to say that in case I'm saying something I shouldn't say. <laughs> but it stays on the market that way. Yeah, it does. Sorry. See, I'm having to scroll back up to see the last thing you said because I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, if you send it, you're just sending it to another exchange. I'm early 50s and I know more than my early 20 kids. The young, the, the young ones, I don't think are really into it. I could be wrong, but like when I look at my channel analytics, I don't get views from below 25, really. Um, I was speaking with an older male and I told him I invest in crypto. His response was get rid of it. Yeah, of course. I Me, mean, uh, some of the older people are clueless because of their mindset. Some are catching on and uh, how do you feel about the neural link that Elon has been working on? I feel that that technology itself could be the mark of the beast. Maybe not Neuralink, but that type of technology. I have a video on it on my channel. Um, because we know that when you take the mark, you cannot be redeemed, right? If you take the mark, that's it. Like, there's no salvation for you. And Neuralink, I feel, right, like if, if you're uploading your consciousness to the cloud, it, it goes without saying that you no longer have soul, sovereign possession of your consciousness. And if I'm the beast in control of this beast system, what's to say that I can't now make it with this Neuralink demonic technology to where you can't even call on the name of Jesus. You've relinquished your right, your, your control over your consciousness. I don't know, just the thought, but I think the Neuralink, that type of technology is not of God at all. What do you think about CEX that have a withdrawal limit? I guess that means crypto exchanges. After one has made millions, is there a way around it? How can we withdraw all the amount within 24 hours? So Kraken, I mean, for one, it depends on what country you're in. But Kraken has a $10 million daily withdrawal limit. That's very high. Um, if you go to Crypto Knight's page, he recently made a post putting out a hypothetical situation like that. Uh, and so I would encourage you to go to his community page and find that post and look at the comments to get some ideas about certain things that you could try to do. Um, I also need to look at a crypto brokerage like Caleb and Brown and see what that's all about, see what the ins and outs of that is. 
Because I assume through that method, you can move larger amounts of crypto. Correct me if I'm wrong. I even sent them ledgers and they don't have any interest. Could an early return of Trump cause crypto to skyrocket? I don't I don't see why that why it would. Some of my relatives accused me of gambling when I told them about crypto. Now I don't talk to anyone about it. Do your relatives invest in anything? It's no different than the stock market. Is Brother, I just bought XRP. Do you think that is wise or should I wait for a drop or other C coins to go up so I can buy more? I think it's wise. I have XRP. I've, I've, the, out of all of my money that I've invested, I've invested the most in XRP. Now, sure, you could try to wait for a drop and buy it. I mean, does it really matter? I don't think so. At the end of the day, it's just about how much XRP do you have? Do you have XRP? How much? That's it. You know, I think the idea is accumulate over time as much as you can. National economic security. Oh, okay. I 100% agree with you about Neuralink tech being the mark. Neuralink is clay mixed with iron. Will the increase of AI and more advanced computing allow crypto keys to be hacked? Potentially. But you got to think. The increase of AI and that technology to be used in an uh, offensive attacking manner, the opposite also has to be true. It can be, there can be an increase in the defensive security mechanisms as well, right? I would assume. I mean, that's what it's always been, right? People create these viruses, then the antivirus and I mean, you know, conspiracy is like it's the same company creating the viruses and the antivirus so they can sell you the. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but same, you know, concept. Caleb and Brown is awesome. Yeah, I, I definitely think that it's supposed to be part of wealth transfer strategy for sure. Um, I just need to look into it. My biggest skepticism with crypto was thinking about if they attack the system, how will we access our money? The reason I don't worry about things like that is because if God said to get in crypto, then why should I worry about that? You know, we should do what we can to practically secure our assets for sure. But to worry and to fear, no. I don't and I'm not saying that you're fearful. I'm just I'm just speaking. I don't trust Neuralink or MedBeds, but I'm interested in getting a robot, man. <laughs> um, I just learned what a MedBed is. Uh, yeah, I was watching a video with a friend and I uh, found out what that was. I had never heard of it before. Do you know anything about eToro? It sounds familiar, but not off the top of my head. Do you have any insight on the dinar? No, I have no insight on any uh, foreign currencies except my friend, my friend, my prophetic friend. What currency does she say? Hmm, hmm. It's an African currency. Let me find it for you real quick. Let me find it real quick. Take this time to post any, you know, we'll shoot. Post any um, questions, but let me find this real quick. It's an African country. She had a prophetic dream about getting their currency. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it, man. Throw some African currencies out there for me. UGX, what company? Uganda, it is Uganda. It is Uganda. You're right. Because I said it in the member section, so maybe you're recalling me saying it. Or maybe you just know. Maybe you're just prophetically in tune. But yes, the Ugandan currency. I don't tell anybody in my family about crypto, just to my parents joking around because once I move out. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sister Sharon's and Gabriel's recent dreams led me to think the flash crash is close and it's the initial C money. Yeah. Personally, I don't have crypto on ledgers. I spread my Luna and Shiba over seven different exchanges. Wow. I hope you're able to manage all of that. I'm not saying you're not, but seven exchanges sounds like a lot. But I do believe in diversification, even in exchanges. It's just here in the U. You must not be in the U.S. Or if you are in the U.S., you're doing some finagling and jumping through hoops and stuff. The elderly might be more comfortable with dealing with Caleb. Yeah. Or dealing with ETFs. Granted, they're not. I don't know if they're going to get much with the Bitcoin ETF, but. Ken Clement prophesied about the DNR. Hello, Matt. Any prophetic leaning toward towards big movement this year for wealth transfer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been I'm laughing because I've been saying it, you know, since February at least. Uh, but I believe April next month will be a very big month. No, it's not Zimbabwe. It's uh, it's the Ugandan currency, UGX. Uh, there will be a rug pull with the Iraqi dinar. If you have it, when it goes up, exchange it quickly to gold or something tangible. Don't hold on to it. I've heard this prophetically two times now. All right. Caught up on the uh, comments. So moving into the next part of the stream. Um, so I want to look at the... Uh, hold on. Brother, I have a question. I broke up with my ex and I told her to put 2500 in crypto. Now I put it in the C coin. She doesn't realize I'm going to 100x her money. What's your question? Since I'm in New York, I can only use Coinbase and Gemini, but after the transfer, I will definitely move out of New York. Okay. Uganda is rumored to have massive amounts of gold in the ground. Oh, wow. Okay. That makes sense. All right. So parable of the talents. I just want to look at parable of the, I'm not, not parable of the talents, of the sower in light of the wealth transfer, right? And, and, people's situations in light of the wealth transfer and in light of the testing word that I've been speaking since November, you know, and I've since seen others confirm the testing word. Uh, so praise God for the confirmation. Um, is there an exchange where you can trade sheep for XRP directly? Probably not, but don't quote me. You'll just have to look and research. All right. So let's look at this, this uh, parable. All right. I'm going to read a Mark NLT. Okay. All right. So Jesus says, listen. Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm sharing it. Now I am. Jesus says, listen. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants, so they produced no grain. Still, other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. So then let's jump to where Jesus gives them the interpretation. The farmer plants seeds by taking God's word to others. So right now we're going to look at the seed, the word as the word about the wealth transfer. Okay. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. Some of you in the chat mentioned, you know, I tell my family members, they don't want to listen. They don't believe it. You know, I've had many people, especially when I started out on this channel in the comments saying this is foolishness. This crypto is of Satan. It's the mark of the beast. This, that and the other. Right. People who just don't want to listen. I sent an email, a very thorough email to a dozen close friends and family to get them started in crypto. And only one person 
invested in crypto as a result of that email. There are some people who hear the word, but then it's it's snatched away per se, as as the parable says, right? It does it has no opportunity to take root. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. So here I am personally, two two and a half years after learning about the wealth transfer, still have yet to take profits. There are some people who got into it even before me. I'm certain there are those who received it with joy immediately when they first, actually, I know personally, actually, that someone just came to mind. I know personally a couple of people who, when they heard about it, they were joyous. They invested. But once it was going nowhere, just after a couple of months, they got out. They were done. Right? They don't have deep roots. They don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. Again, you know, some of us have those family members who think it's foolish, who, you know, someone shared in the chat, uh, their family told them what is like gambling, right? Basically, basically calling it a sin to invest in crypto, which is silly, but that's another story. I mean, scripture itself talks positively about investing, trading. Verse 18, the seed that fell among the thorns represent others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. Now, this part here, I believe, applies most to people still in the wealth transfer. Some people, right? I know a brother who felt God told him to leave his job, as many of us have felt that. And things started to get so tight that he felt he needed to sell his crypto to make ends meet, to survive. Um, And glory to God that he eventually was able to get another job and start buying that crypto back. But that's not the story for everyone. Also, glory to God that I haven't had to sell any of my crypto. But that doesn't mean that I haven't had to struggle because of that, you know, for me to hold on to my seed, my investments in crypto in the wealth transfer, what God told me to invest. Because if you recall, the prophetic word that I got was this money that you got set aside right now, invest all of it. Right. So to me, it's never really an idea or a thought to sell my investments to pay for something to to pay for a living, so to speak. Right. And thankfully, I haven't had to do that. But there's been struggle because of that. Right. It's it's a testing. It's a trial. Are you going to hold on to the word? Are you going to keep your faith in the word of this wealth transfer? Although uh, the worries of this life, the desire for other things are begin to crowd in. Right. And also it says here, the lure of wealth. Someone might read that in in light of what I'm speaking about here and say, well, you're talking about the wealth transfer. You're talking about receiving wealth. So is this a bad thing? What I feel the lore of wealth could refer to in this sense that I'm placing it is those who are in the wealth transfer for the wrong reasons, right? Those who are in the wealth transfer for material, carnal, selfish reasons, right? No fruit will be produced. There are those of us in the wealth transfer who know what God's plan for us is in using this wealth. There are people who want to build orphanages, schools, businesses, right? Infrastructure, buy land, farming, right? This is producing fruit. Now, there are others who are hearing about it, getting into it so they can buy clothes and jewelry and houses and cars and, right? 
That's the lure of wealth. So no fruit is produced from this word of the wealth transfer. And then, of course, the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. So do you still have your wealth transfer seed? Do you still have your full wealth transfer seed? I do. And it may not be as large of a seed as some others have, but I still have my full seed. If you've had to, if you felt you had to give up some of your seed, are you able to get some of it back? Do you know someone who gave up their seed or had it snatched away that maybe you could send this to to encourage them, right? Especially as we're on the precipice, as we believe of something great happening. This has been a test. Two and a half years for me left a secure military job, been in transition ever since, unstable. But I'm holding on to that C, though. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's read the chat. Been pressing into flash crash and found this today after an exchange. Saw a XRP flash crash in the last 24 hours. Wow. I love where you're going with this. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully that spoke something. As far as family and friends not listening, I'm with you. But after two plus years on the subject of seed time and harvest, now my wife and kids, while I think I live in fantasy land, and it is foolish. The past two-ish weeks have been tough since then. I gotta endure right? Because here's what's going to happen. Once we break through, those people are not only going to see that you are right, but they may even become saved through your obedience and your faith and seeing you walk that out. I'm believing for that for someone in my family, right? Somebody in my family, I got them invested into crypto, but they're not they're not really living for the Lord though. And so maybe once they see that, oh wow, this thing that Marcus has been talking about, that God told him about for years, that has now made me a millionaire. Hmm. Maybe this God he talks about is real. Crazy, I moved out of Colorado 45 months ago, landed in Indiana right over the river from Louisi Louisville, <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky, still no job. Well, soon you may not need one. Hold your position, amen. Yes, I do, full amount and still buying. Lucky you. I still have it and have been adding on to it for the last two years. Hey, lucky you. <laughs> 424. Keep packing your bags. I lost almost $1,000 due to a scam. I didn't go to God first. Well, it sounds like you almost lost, but you didn't, lo you didn't lose it. So praise God. Wow, Marcus, strong faith you have. God bless you, brother. Hey, praise God, you know, <laughs> like, um, yeah, it just is what it is, you know. I, I, I reached a point where it was like, if I got a, and thankfully, I, I was I was I haven't been close to this, but just being real with myself, if I got to live on the street and even if I perish, right, trying to walk this out, doing my best to obey God and have faith in him, even if that leads to me perishing. I'm OK with that. Right. Because where will I be at the end of that? Obviously, in his presence. God looks at the heart. He knows that. I was only trying to follow him. So, you know, are we able to bring ourselves to that point of faith to where we're going to walk out what we fully believe God has called us to, to the point of death? And I'm not trying to be dramatic at all. I'm just, I'm just being real with y'all. Like these are literal thoughts I had uh, when things were really tight. I'm believing for many to come to know the Lord from this. I know that's a huge part of it. Absolutely. 
My husband took all of my investment last year because he didn't believe and he lost his job, but I still invested again and I'm not giving up. I'm still holding on to it. I said to him, I will obey God. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've seen 424 a few times before, never really knew what it meant. It's occurring to me now that it could be a very significant month that could kick off everything. Yeah, somebody else, Misty, said 424 above. Matt in my member section said he feels something will happen after the Bitcoin halving. The Bitcoin halving is estimated to happen between April 16th and 20th. So. Where can I invest a few hundred dollars? I mean, <laughs> that's an extremely vague question. Uh, plenty of places. He still has no job. Hmm. That reminds me of Esther. If I perish, I perish. Hi, I I was able to hold on the last two and a half years by the grace of God and been adding on ever since. Praise God. Yep, four twenty three is what I heard. Okay. Well, we 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 grew in in viewers. If you don't mind hitting the like button, if if you've gotten something out of this, that would be appreciated. Um. So. Y'all can, you know, we'll get into some Q&A. If you got any direct questions, go ahead and put it in the chat. Um, the the one-on-one -on -one calls have been going very well. Uh, next week, I have uh, five scheduled so far. Um, five scheduled so far. I had six, but someone had to reschedule. So right now, Thursday and Friday are wide open. I mean, the other days have available slots as well, but Thursday and Friday are wide open. So if it's something you've been considering um, or would be interested in, just to help you, you know, crystallize your wealth transfer plan, or even if it's not about crypto, you know, one of my calls, my very first call was helping someone discern God's, uh, God's will for their life right now and what they should pursue. Um, actually, a couple of my calls have touched on that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help. That's what I'm called to do. I'm only doing this because I was called to do it uh, in 2019. And so he might be able to say I've slacked a little if, since I'm just now doing it. Uh, I am certified, right, in life coaching and mentorship. Uh, so this is, this is a, a professional thing for me, all right? The link is in the description to my link tree, and then you'll be able to see a banner that says book a one-on-one -on -one call. What are your thoughts on the dinar? Uvo, you've been here the whole time. I literally gave a whole discourse on the dinar, but <laughs> I don't have any thoughts on the dinar. But my friend uh, spoke positively about the Ugandan uh, currency the currency of Uganda and investing in that. So that's all I have on foreign currencies, nothing else. Brother Marcus, please pray for my husband. He still keeps threatening me to sell my investments. Okay, I'll pray for you. Um, I know in the member section, you know, I prayed for you in that, in that moment for something else, uh, but I'll pray for you offline for this. So long, God has faithfully provided our needs. Praise God. I had a doge ring going to $2, and then a couple of months later, I seen your video. Confirmation. Amen. Had a strange dream. I was entitled to three drinks. The first one was blue, exotic, bottled drink, which I enjoyed. But this dang heart button is in the way. But when I went for the rest, I was told it's too late. Hmm. Three drinks. The first one was blue, exotic, bottled drink, which I enjoyed. Blue, I mean, was it light blue, dark blue? Blue can represent the spirit, you know, drinking. Um, you enjoyed it. I mean, that that has a positive sense to it. But the other two, it was too late. I can't say. I can't say. You know, so let me let me talk about dreams because many people send me their dreams, 
and and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Um, I I enjoy dreams and dream interpretation and all that. Uh, but one thing I always do when I interpret a dream, I, I'll let me let me be straightforward with y'all. Okay, it takes time. All right, so I'm reading your email. I'm dissecting the dream. I'm typing out an interpretation. And every time I do that, all I ask in return is, hey, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on what I took the time to give to you. Yeah, just let me know what you think. And too many times people don't have the decency to just do that. You know, they're just sending me a random email. I'm taking the time to do this. All I'm asking for is a reply on your thoughts and and you know, half the time I can't even get that. And so naturally it makes me, it makes me feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be interpreting dreams as much. You know what I'm saying? Cause it feels like a waste of time after that point. Right. Because feedback is good when it comes to the, the prophetic, when it comes to spiritual gifts, period, feedback is good. It helps us know, are we on track? Are we off track? Let's adjust right? It helps us sharpen the gifting, right? So I always ask for that. But, you know, half the time it, I don't get it. And it's like, okay, maybe I should stop. <laughs> stop being so responsive. So I just ask, if you send me your dreams, at least give me that that decency, right? I just watched the Dinar video before hopping on the live. Something going on with the Dinar. I've been invested for five years. Sounds like something about to happen. Got to pray about it. Um, yeah, I've never been, I've never felt drawn to the Dinar. I have nothing against it or for it, but had a dream. Silver, silver, silver. Yeah, somebody just uh, gave me a donation specifically to buy silver with it. So I'm going to do that. I just need to decide on on through what vehicle am I going to purchase purchase it. And my one-on-one -on -one call yesterday, uh, the gentleman has a lot of silver. God told, told him silver, 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 like you said. This is a very encouraging. Thanks. Praise God. I'm glad. 424 has been on my spirit strongly for the last year. I see it everywhere. So I know something big is going to happen. I also have a picture of clouds. There's day in the form of 24. Amen. Life is a garden. I, I am. I am a real person. Not only that, I am the only person. I am the only one working on my channel, ministry, right? I do not have a team. I do not have a partner yet, but I have a feeling that's in the works. God's working that out, you know. Then I woke up the other day, and just before I woke up, I saw 22 and 44, and then the number 11 coming in between them, like splitting them mathematically. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, y'all, we're approaching an hour. I got out what I wanted to get out. I'd like to do more live streams. Um, I'm in a place right now where I can do more live streams. Um, so be on the lookout for that. If you take profits from Shiba Inu and buy XRP, do you have to cash out first? More than likely. Meaning sell, well, taking profits means selling. So you sell your Shiba Inu and then invest in XRP. It depends on the exchange, though. You might be able to do a conversion. Shiba Inu converted to XRP. But most of us have sell limit orders for Shiba, right? So say a sell limit order executes, it's going to sell it for whatever you place that sell limit order in. US dollars, USDT, USDC, something else, some exchanges you could go Shiba to Bitcoin, like whatever, you know. Good evening, Mark. It's a pleasure to see you live and receive encouragement as you dedicatedly do for the body of Christ. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. I think maybe between the 2 and 4 of April or up to the 24th. Well, you know, we know the um, the eclipse is the 8th. Um, so me personally, I'm not expecting anything before that.
But that's not to say nothing will happen. That's just how I'm feeling right now. I traded Shiba to XRP on Uphold. No need to cash out. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. Uh, well, somebody mentioned something a little different. Somebody mentioned sending Shiba to the Xanam XANAM wallet, formerly known as XUMM, ZUM or Zoom, um, and it automatically converting to XRP. So you send Shiba to an XRP wallet and automatically converts it to XRP. But then some people tested it out. Uh, some of their Shiba got lost in outer space, never to be seen again. So I don't know how trustworthy that is. <laughs> and they said they could only do that on Uphold. So maybe that's what you're talking about. Do you think Shiba is only seed money or is it long term? I'm not uh, concrete on that. I was actually thinking about that today. It could be either or. <laughs> it could be either or. If I had to, if I had to tweak my strategy to predict one way or the other, if I had to, I would lean toward it being more uh, short term. That's just me, though. I'm not saying that that's what will happen. That's just if I were trying to make a concrete strategy, I would create my strategy with the thought of holding Shiba short term. That doesn't have to be your strategy, though. I just want to pray that peace that surpasses all understanding wash over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You do it a lot. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Royal Roxanne. I appreciate that. I don't think I've seen you before, but thank you. On the dream, I felt like when the wealth transfer happens, it's only yours when you take it out into real estate, lands, etc. When it's on the exchange or wallets, it's only potentially yours. When it's on the exchanges, yeah, I'd agree with that. But I feel, well, me, this is me, right? You all know I preach your strategy should be your strategy. Um, but part of my reinvestment strategy definitely involves cryptocurrency. So it's going to have to be in a wallet, you know. Thank you for your daily messages on your 40-day wealth transfer fast. I really enjoyed the messages. They were encouraging. Praise God. Appreciate the live. Appreciate you being here and watching. Do you think XRP will become scarce by the end of the year? By the end of the year? There's no telling. I mean, I don't have any revelation or prophetic insight on that. What could happen? You know, they, they finally closed the lawsuit with the SEC. Price goes up. Institutions buy up a junk load of it. People buy up a junk load of it. Regulations come to where they prevent people from buying. <laughs> Who knows, right? Like maybe they throw out a buyback out there for the government to try to take up even more of it. Who knows? I have no idea. In the in, end of the year seems soon though, but could be. Why do you say you do not feel that nothing might happen before the eclipse? No reason. I just don't feel it. Like, so a seer, you know, you hear the word seer and you think, oh, okay, they, they see in the spirit. The, the way they prophesy is by seeing things. But Bob Jones said, and I believe this, Bob Jones said a seer is everything. A seer uses all the senses, right? A seer sees, hears, smells, feels, touch, right? Like feels, uh, senses, Right. And I've, I've discerned in all those ways. I've discerned by feeling. I've discerned. I've heard, obviously. I've seen. I've smelled. I've smelled demons. Um, and so I just feel that's just what I feel. I, I can't give any explanation to it. I just don't feel anything will happen um, before the eclipse. Oh, okay, you watch replays. Okay, makes sense. I mean, you can comment on the replay too, though. <laughs> what is your insight on 
XRP price going to? My insight is what I first heard Sharon say, and then maybe somebody else say something similar, but 25 to 30K at least, right? I, I believe that's just one marker. I believe it will potentially even surpass that eventually. Do you like crypto ETFs? This dang heart button, like, come on, YouTube. Like, this just in the way of the chat. Do you like crypto ETFs like Grayscale or just stick with I just stick with crypto. For one, the ETF is only Bitcoin. Like, what type of return on investment are you going to get with Bitcoin? You can't place a buy limit order for zero in an ETF. So what type of return on investment are you going to get with the Bitcoin ETF? Now, if you're already a millionaire, multimillionaire, and you have a lot of money, then a Bitcoin ETF might be a good, a good part of your investment strategy. Because you don't you you don't necessarily need, <laughs> you know, those multi thousands of percentage return on investment. Are you expecting to take profits in April? Yes. Holy Spirit, I was thinking the same thing about the eclipse, but still trying to discern the 2244 being split by the 11. I'm still trying to get clarity on what I saw exactly. Well, there's a doubling effect going there, right? 11, 22, 44. Um, doubling is like the inverse of having. I don't know. Those are just some thoughts. Uh, do you know of John Paul Jackson? Yes, I do. And what do you think of his prophetic words? I think John Paul Jackson was a prophet. I think I was just talking last night to a friend about his uh, perfect storm prophecy. Um, so, yeah, I would take what he has said seriously. It's more than Bitcoin. OK, what else is it in the ETFs? Saying it's more than Bitcoin doesn't really add much to the conversation. Um, and I'm not I'm not like <laughs> I'm not being defensive. I'm just I, I speak kind of directly. Uh, but feel free to say what else is in there so then I can give a more uh, knowledgeable, educated um, response. I feel the eclipse is the beginning of the shaking. Things will intensify after this. That that. That could make sense, yeah. Let me see. I'll, I'll do a Google search. What does the Bitcoin ETF include? Bitcoin futures ETFs are funds that bundle Bitcoin futures contracts. A Bitcoin ETF. Wow. Bitcoin ETFs track the current price of Bitcoin and should act in lockstep with Bitcoin's price swings. I'm still only seeing Bitcoin, but let's see. I should just share my, uh, let's see what y'all say. Oh, it was, it was just the thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll hold my tongue. Uh, hi brother. Do you find out what the big E is yet? Yeah, I believe I found out what it was over a year ago. Um, nuclear fusion energy. Those are the videos I made about it. I know some people may disagree with that, but 
I have yet to hear any reason to disagree with that. Uh, there are still advancements being made in nuclear fusion energy. There are vehicles uh, that are being developed that hope to use that technology. Um, so that's what I think it is. The big E, if you speak in a literal sense, I believe it's related to Einstein's. I believe it could have multiple meanings. So big E standing for Einstein. Big E in the E equals MC squared, right? The E is capitalized, big E, uh, which was Einstein's equation, right? Um, so Einstein was working on nuclear fusion energy. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I think it is. Grayscale has several XLM, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You get an increase if crypto goes up and premium on top of that. So... All of those coins are included into the uh, Bitcoin, into their ETF, their Bitcoin ETF. Um, okay. That's interesting. I mean, out of all those coins, the only one I feel really great about is XLM. Maybe Ethereum. Why are you hesitant to say XRP is a lifelong hold before XRP is the key to the bridge to every asset? I have said that. I've said that more than once. Uh, Pastor Keith said he had a dream of Andrew Tate and he believes Tate could help us with the wealth transfer because he has so much money. What do you think God could make Tate help? I have no idea. How much money does Andrew Tate have? <laughs> I would say I would say Elon Musk would help before I would say Andrew Tate would help. No, nothing against Brother Keith. Brother Keith is prophetic. So there, that could abs absolutely be true. I've just never considered that. Uh, There's this headline. What is Andrew Tate's net worth? Is he the world, world's first trillionaire? <laughs> Tate once claimed that he was a trillionaire, but his actual net worth is 20 million. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Brother, I would like to help to transfer ERC-20 Theta to the mainnet. I got scammed and got 1,100 Bitcoin stolen from Ledger. Okay. And what else are you? do you have to say with that? Because this already sounds like the start of a scam. No offense. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying, like, you got to give some more context and information. Do you leave your Shiba in exchange or Ledger, Mark, for your share, though? Thank you. Uh, oh, me personally, it's on the exchange because it's in sell limit orders. So it has to be on, on an exchange for that. Some gold, silver providers take Shiba directly for payment through. Yeah, true, true. Andrew Tate has over $300 million. Okay. Who's, who's, who's right? I, I don't know. I just saw 20 mil. Um... I'm seeing 50 mil for 2022. Okay, so if he's making millions each year, maybe it is 300 million. I have no idea. Unraveling the mystery of Andrew Tate's purported 300 to 400 million. Anyway, I don't know anything about Andrew Tate's net worth and how he would help with the wealth transfer. Um. I think what Pastor Keith said was that Tate would help with strategies, not by giving money or supplying. Okay. I could see that. I could see that because, you know, he's a businessman. So I could see that. Have you heard any insight from Kelly lately? Yeah, I text Kelly personally and ask her things here and there. Um, nothing I could say on the top of my head. I mean, I think the last time I texted her was when 
you know, after everything was rising really high and then it dropped, I texted her at that point asking her if she thought this was or that was that that time has since passed. But if she thought that was like with my dream of one of the cables snapping on the elevator, if she thought it was that she thought, um, let's see what she said. She said she was fairly certain it was just a hefty pullback after a significant time of growth. The pullback was large, but to be expected during the quick rises in price with this bull run. Okay. Take goodbye, she. <laughs> Who cares? Trust God. We can't know what he's doing unless he tells us it's above our pay grade. Well, yeah, but if they're saying Pastor Keith said, God said, well, then, you know, maybe it is something to consider. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Well, this has been, how do you recommend withdrawing hundreds of millions of on an ex, of an exchange with a strict daily withdrawal limit? I do not have a recommendation. Um some things to consider, um, brokerage, like I mentioned, like Caleb and Brown, um, a Palau ID, what do they call that ID? It's basically like a digital ID, digi digital residence to another country to get to be able to get on a different exchange that might have a higher withdrawal limit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have much. But like I said earlier, go to Crypto Knights Community tab. He made a post recently regarding that, uh, and read the comments. People, people were putting ideas in the comments. Hello, Shannon. Just those two, brother. What do you mean? Well, you all, I have a meeting after this. Oh, Caleb and Brown and then I, are you asking? Is that a question? Look up HTC Daily Withdrawal. I mean, for one, I assume, Warrior Wisdom, that you've looked into other potential exchanges. Oh, you're confirming. Okay, thanks. Good, good. Yeah, I need to I need to get into Caleb and Brown for sure. We know in part and prophesy in part, absolutely. Yeah, I need to get a Palau ID as well. Um get my funds up just a little more, a little more, and I'm probably apply for one of those. Hello. All right, y'all. I don't want to drag this out. Uh, remember, like I said, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one call, you know, always enjoyable. Um, yeah, Shannon, go back. I've done a call with Shannon. Shannon, feel free, you know, if you want to give a genuine uh, idea of what you felt about our call um, in the chat. It doesn't have to be long. It, it can be very brief. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do a call, if you need some assistance, um, the link will be in the description, my link tree link. Um, or, you know, I'll post a link here. Um, Shannon said, definitely do a one on one with him. Thank you, Shannon. Anointed Flowers, I'll be talking to you next week. Thank you. Um, can you type some of these names out and put in the description? What names? Thank you, One Day. Uh, thank you, Texas to Georgia. I had a dream where a white mouse was biting the neck of a white small bear. Hmm. Interesting. A white mouse biting the neck of a white small bear. One thing I say 
whenever I uh, respond to people's dreams that they send me via email, as I as I tell them, you know, context, just like reading scripture, context is important with the dream. So, you know, it, it's it helps to know the context of what's going on in the dreamer's life to begin with. Um, and I, I still go ahead and give them what I feel uh, anyway with what they've given me. Oftentimes it's literally just the dream and no other context or insights whatsoever. And I still give them what I can, uh, but it, it helps to know some things about the dreamer and what's going on in their life, you know. Like Caleb and Brown, the ID, Palau, the different exchanges, etc. Well, you got it. You got it. Caleb and Brown, that's exactly how you how you write it. Uh, but yeah, I can I can try to go back and put it in the description afterwards. Gabriel says, clarifying, Keith never said Tate would help with wealth transfer. Keith said Tate is good for youth and would become a Christian and work. See, let's see, like I can't even trust y'all now. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon said he made me cry in a good way. I was able to talk to him regarding my life and how I needed to move forward. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon, for your, um, your testimonial. So, yeah, if you want a book, you know, I look forward to it. I changed I changed the time from an hour to 45 minutes just because I feel like it could be it could be more concise. Um an hour does tend to be long, you know, talking for an hour <laughs> does tend to be long. So 45 minutes is still good. And, and of course, drop drop the price a little bit to go along with that shorter time. Thank you, Shannon. Um, yeah, so that's that. You know, I got a couple of live stream ideas going forward. So like I said earlier, you know, I'm hoping to do... Um, do more live streams very soon. Rock, Roxanne says, Palau ID takes about 45 days to receive from start to finish. Oh man, need to get on it now. Need to get on it now. I heard it's like two, $200 and some change, right? Technically, I probably could do it now. I need to, I need to look at that. Yeah, ASAP. <clears throat> 248, $248 for a Palau ID. It is a digital ID. It, it makes it so that you can get on an exchange like KuCoin, for example, uh, that does not serve U.S. citizens. But then you say, bam, I'm a citizen of Palau. And then you get on that exchange. Dual citizenship. But the Palau citizenship is only digital. It's only in the metaverse, y'all. You are a Palau citizen in the metaverse only. That's a joke, by the way. I would like to sew to you, Marcus. Do you have Cash App? Wow, Shannon. I appreciate that. I do. It is dollar sign Marcus the Minister. I have a link. Let me go to my link tree. Come on, internet, like when you need it, that's when it wants to go slow. It says, hmm, can't reach this page. What is going on? That's amazing. But that's that's the that's the uh cash app, dollar sign Marcus the Minister. HT exchange, HCX exchange has 3,000 Bitcoin a day withdrawal with Palau ID. So 3,000 Bitcoin a day, does that literally mean you have to withdraw in Bitcoin? Or is it saying the equivalent dollar amount of 3,000 Bitcoin? So you can withdraw in dollars, but equivalent amount. Marcus, maybe we should find exchange where we can buy silver directly from crypto. Yeah, they exist. They exist. Uh, the guy I was speaking to yesterday, man, I have my notes. I'll have to go back. Uh, he gave me a specific 
dealer or broker or whatever you call them. I will get my Palau ID next week. It will take about 30 days total. Okay, okay, cool. How much does the Palau ID cost? $248. Got my Palau ID yesterday. Took 40. Dang, look at y'all. See, y'all are selfish because nobody came to me about the Palau ID except Amy and Crypto Knight. Amy, wait. I feel like there was someone else because I think Amy went by the time Amy told me about it. I had heard about it. Either that or Amy was the first. But all of y'all in this chat talking about, oh, I got mine yesterday. I get mine next week. I get, you know, y'all just on it and ain't sharing the knowledge. Come on now. You got it. You got what, Shannon? You got the Palau ID or you got my cash app? I think you're talking cash app. Okay, the equivalent of 3,000 Bitcoin. Okay, that's good. Silver gold bull sells direct with crypto through BitPay. Hey, y'all, do your research, right? I mean, you know, I, I'd assume most people in the chat are trustworthy, but don't just say, you know, just because someone typed in the chat uh, like that, that is reputable. Do your research. And that is nothing against Bill's Mafia. As you can see, he's a channel member, so he's more trustworthy than the average. No offense to the non-channel members. <laughs> How do I get a Palau ID? Just Google Palau ID and I'm sure you'll find it. Let me Google it right now. Share my screen. Bam, apply now for $248. You just, you know, go to Dr. Google. Dr. Google usually has the answer. Choose your package. Definitely not that one. One year trial version, two hundred forty-eight dollars. All right, so there it is. That simple. RNS dot ID. All right. Let's see. The week Crypto Knight said I got it. Said it. I got it. Okay. God bless, Elliot. Never heard of it. Y'all selfish. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marcus. Mine comes in now. I got your cash app, but need the other two, the Palau ID. Meant to say, oh, any day now. Okay, cool. Why is my link tree not loading? My link tree link. That's crazy. Somebody else try to go to Linktree right now. Just the website. It's linktr.ee. I could put it in the chat and you can just click on it. See that works because it's not loading for me. I had no idea about this Palau ID. Thanks for the info, guys. So much to learn. Is the Palau ID mandatory? Uh, no. It's not mandatory. It's just a digital ID of another country so that if you're in a restricted country as far as crypto and being able to get on exchanges and whatnot, you can use that ID. Right now, I have no money to get the ID. I mean, it's it's not mandatory, you know? You have Coinbase. Um, 
Look into Caleb and Brown, the brokerage. Didn't work for me either. Wow. Is that is is Satan trying to prevent, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh again, just one more time. Well, I can I can pin it. I can pin. Let me find where I put it. So I'll pin the link to my calendar if you're interested in, in booking a one-on-one -on -one call. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for checking the link for me, by the way. I had a dream where I went into the bank. Instead of going to the teller where people were standing, I went to the kiosk ATM machines in the middle of the bank. There were six and had stacks of cash. Okay. Okay, the link tree in the video description works. That's good. Yeah, SH, your dream. I mean, it's it, I mean, that's that's general to me, you know, without without any type of context. Um because sometimes dreams can be literal, you know? And so Okay, you got more. I then decided to take two handfuls of the bills, approximately 2,000 of them that were pink and denomination of 500 each. That sounds like a foreign currency. Uh, okay, now link tree is loading. A person nodded for me to take what I wanted, but instead I started to stick the bills in the machine, but they kept spitting out. I then decided to take two handfuls of the bills, approximately 2,000 of them that were pink in denominations of 5,000 each, or 500 each, I'm sorry. I left the bank and went home. I could have taken more, but left thinking only take what is needed. Hmm. Okay. Well, everyone, before I sign off, um, hit that like button for your boy. All right. Um, you know, continuing to grow, doing these one-on-one -on -one calls, want to do more live streams. Got a collaboration coming. Um, not the typical collaboration where I do a live stream with someone, but a collaboration where someone's going to work with me, uh, edit one of my videos. Um so hopefully that will be coming soon as well. Please wait and see my dream above. I'm, I've been reading your dream. Appreciate your time. God bless everyone. Marcus, I did send a response email back to you regarding my dream last week. Yeah, I got yours. You're not the only one who has sent me a dream. Though. I, I get a lot of dreams sent to me. So I got I got yours, uh, Psalms. Thank you. Thank you. Because out of that, the day I sent you your dream interpretation, I sent three total. You're the only one who replied. Okay, so I'll read your dream again, SH. I had a dream where I went into the bank. Instead of going to the teller where people were standing, I went to the kiosk ATM machines in the middle of the bank. There were six and had stacks of cash. A person nodded for me to take what I wanted, but instead I started to stick the bills in the machine, but they kept spitting out at me. I then decided to take two handfuls of the bills, approximately 2,000 of them, that were pink and denomination of $500 each. I left the bank and went home. I could have taken more, but left thinking only take what is needed. So for some reason, you know that when you took two handfuls, it was about 2,000 bills, right? So nomination of 500 each. That's a million dollars. A perfect, round, even $1 million. 
You left the bank and went home. Could have taken more, but left thinking only take what is needed. This could be about, are you are you invested in crypto? See what I mean about context? Like it's like with dreams and, and symbols and dreams and what happens in dreams, they can have multiple meanings. And the context of what's going on in the person's life helps you say, okay, this is the meaning of this symbol. This is right out of the multiple meanings this symbol could have, because I know this person is invested in a cryptocurrency. Okay, this is what the symbol means. Um, but just to give you a general, like I do in these emails when I don't get context, just to give you a general, you know, response, I think this dream could be speaking to um, if you are invested in crypto in the wealth transfer, could be speaking to your sell points, right? Not sell limit orders but specifically any crypto that you have where you will sell manually, where you will watch the crypto rise over time and decide when you're going to sell. Take only what's needed, right? Don't be greedy. As Emmanuel Johnson once said, I disagreed with him in the context that he said it, but I'll borrow the phrase now. God wants to bless the needy, not the greedy. Take what you need. Don't be greedy. But the thing about that is the greed can cause you to miss it because you never know when the peak is. You never know like, okay, it's at this point and now it's about to plummet. You don't know when that is. You are valued and appreciated. Thank you, New Day (laughs) Restoration. Uh, May the Lord bless you in mighty ways. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Bills Mafia. Yvonne, thank you. Uh, Thank you, Rhonda. All right, everyone. God bless you. Uh, SH, if you want to type in the chat what you think about what I just said, feel free, because the chat will still be open even after I end the stream. Uh, And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Click the like button. Share if you know someone who might need that exhortation about holding on to their seed. If you know someone who once gave up their seed, but maybe you can encourage them to regain that seed. Right. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Monique. Life is a garden. Thank you. All right, you all. I will see you soon. God bless and good night.